Hey Clashers, it's Seacole45, and I have the uh, second episode of Let's Farm. So, um, I'm finishing my cannons. I have one more in this recording. It says I have two more, but, um, I did record the vid this video a few days ago, and, um, I never had the chance to edit it until now. So, uh, yep, pretty much I have, um, one more cannon now. So, I got a new base design. As you can see, probably saw from my live raids, I did change my base design. It was this is my own design. It's really good. I think it's a really good looking design. So I have those. Well, one more cannon now. Even though in the video says two more, I actually just upgraded one. So I am gonna upgrade my defense more, but that's after my trophy push. So just giving you a heads up. After I upgrade my final cannon, I'm gonna begin trophy pushing. It's it's unbelievable. I haven't trophy pushed in. A long time. My le my trophy push was in the beginning of April, and it's, it's well into June, so that's crazy. I've been farming hardcore for the last few months, and um, it's good. I've been definitely got I got a ton of upgrades done, and uh, yeah. So I'm in this first raid, and we're gonna obviously, as you know, my farming strategy is Barch. So I'm gonna deploy the Barbarian King on, to get some resources, and then get the Town Hall. So I don't lose my trophies because I do. I am starting to lose a lot of trophies. I went from the 1800 down to the 1700, and now I'm starting to get into the 1600. So it's starting to get a little harder to maintain the trophies. But probably gonna pick off some town halls with archers and stuff. So yeah, I'll try to climb back up, maybe get to like 1650 where I've been finding decent loot. So so far been getting a decent amount of loot I've had just around 200,000 I meant 300,000 combined loot um, 200 around 200,000 gold um, so I'm using the barbarians obviously to tank I'm using I'm just trying to deploying like five to ten at, of each at a time just so I could take out some outside buildings so I can get to the mines I love when the town halls in the outside and farming bases if the town halls on the outside just pick it off just deploy like five archers on it. Either like take it out or just like wait or like or like like start the raid while the town hall's going or wait for the town hall to be done. So then you can just focus 100% on the loot and not worry about getting 50% because you don't want to lose every raid because then you're going to start losing trophies because that's the way you maintain your trophies is by raiding because obviously your town hall's on the outside and you need and obviously you're going to lose trophies when they pick it off so there's my first raid I got some decent loot I am focused on gold and dark elixir I have a ton of elixir um, I think I have over 4 million in this video or yeah let me, wait hold uh, no yeah I, right now I have like 5.4 million I'm gonna get dragons to three once my hog riders are finished so it's ridiculous how much elixir I have it's it's scary. In the beginning of the push, you're probably gonna get attract attract a lot of attackers because <laughs> of all the elixir I have. But it'll but it's good to have a lot of elixir when you're trophy pushing. So I've had all this elixir for weeks. So yeah. it's gonna be weird when I have like less than like three million elixir. <laughs> so the king just goes on beast mode, just rips through the outside portions of the base. So far, I've stolen around 120 of each of whatever. The number keeps climbing, so bear with me. So, a lot of the mines are spread out, and they're pretty easy to get, so. Yep. Now, I'm just going to talk school for me. School is finishing. The last My last day is the next Wednesday. That is the 25th, I think. Yeah, the 25th. Um, obviously, that means I have summer. I am gonna. I do have a summer assignment, but I'm not. But I'm definitely gonna upload a lot. I'll try to upload daily. Most days I'll be able to upload. Or probably a few days I won't be able to. And that's just because I I have a life and I'm gonna go out and do stuff and not or, and not sit home at my house and like a loser. So yes, I will try to upload a good amount though. So don't worry about that. I'll try to get daily uploads, but. I'm not perfect, so I'll probably have a few days where I can't upload, but I'll do what I can, so. Yep, here we go, 50%. We got the win. We got 250 of each and 337 dark.
that's uh, very good. So continuing to just stock up on loot. Another great raid, over 200 of each. Man, the loot's been amazing lately. The Clan Wars update um, definitely increased the, tr the trophy count to farm. And um, if you're a Town Hall 7, you can easily make gold, um, gold 2. Come up here and farm. As a, ton as a pretty rookie, like lower level Town Hall 7, I made uh, 1,900 trophies. 1902 was my um, record of my first trophy push at Town Hall 7. Then my second trophy push was first Town Hall 7. I got to around 1920, and then I went to Town Hall 8. I got a $100 iTunes card, so got a bunch of gems and uh, did some stuff. I am known to use gems. A lot of my friends call me Gemmer because it's true. I do use gems because on um, my opinion on gems is don't gem everything, but gem the upgrades that are like really good upgrades or impossible upgrades. For example, if you're a Town Hall 7, I seriously recommend you gem the Barbarian King because the Barbarian King is very good, especially even gem him to level 5. You can get him to level 5 at Town Hall 7. It's really smart to do it because of the Iron Fist, you don't need to get him any higher than 5, just get him to 5, then you can save the rest of the levels, that's my opinion. So, yes. So I'm at 48%, and I'm going to destroy this elixir storage. Yes, I did. Go, I, you did see me go for the gold storage, and that's because I was actually upgrading, um, I think I, ne I needed that um, to upgrade a cannon. And I got just enough to upgrade that cannon. So that was the raid that got my next cannon up. So, yeah, 4.5 million elixir. Yeah, right now I have like 5.4. It's it's ridiculous. I have so much elixir that um that um sorry about that um that um my the animation of the elixir storage is like full. It's crazy. So I am gonna do a live raid, and it shouldn't take. It's not gonna take me that long to find a base. Um, in my trophy pushing series, um. I am going to be doing live raids, like I'm probably going to show like two to three replays and then a live raid like this, three replays and a live raid, because I think raiding live is a really good thing, I I definitely saw a bunch of town halls that I wanted to pick, but I didn't want, I didn't, just to, for the sake of the video and I didn't want you to, to piss any of you guys off, you're like, hey, I don't want to see C. Cole pick town halls all video, I want to see him, um, you know, do other stuff, and I agree, that's why, um, I'm starting to get low on the trophy counts. I'm starting to see Town Hall 6s. It's kind of... Oh, I remembered my trophy push to uh, Gold 1. Um, as a rookie Town Hall 7. I find this Town Hall 6 in Gold 2 at like 1,700 trophies. I'm like, what? I raid him, I steal 30 trophies, and it, push, it, give, it gets me to around 1,760. And then I got my final push to Gold 1, and then I maintained it for like 5 days, and then... I have been in Crystal before, I'm going for Crystal 1, so, 2,400 trophies, that's a crazy goal, because my I have been in Crystal for around approximately two days, I made Crystal, um, then I just pushed and pushed to 2,100 trophies, I've only done one raid above 2,100 trophies, and it was a fail, it was a like a 41% because I was getting so high on the trophy counts that, um, I'm sorry for the weight on the raid. Um, I was getting so high on the trophy counts that I could only one star by getting a town hall. I couldn't, I couldn't two star. I couldn't even two star. It was that tough of, of, um, of a raid. It was tough. But... I've been, but that was, um, when I used, like, you know, a heavy ground attack, I'd use, like, a golem, uh, like, eight giants, 20 barbs, 18 archers, 20 wizards, and 10 lawbreakers. Um, yeah, I was considering that base, because I'm, I was so low on money in this video, and I, I'm like, oh, no, I shouldn't have skipped it. I apologize for the, um, what is it called, the, uh, wait and my next video if my search is this long um i'm gonna um, cut it out and at last i find the base i'm looking for the loot is insane 316,000 
I'm gonna play the Barbarian King and some Barbarians to steal some of that gold, and we're just gonna flood the base with Barbarians and Archers to try to get as much loot as possible, especially the gold, because, um, obviously gold is my, my focus on my resources, so... I am gonna go for the elixir, but my gold the gold is the main focus right now. So just letting you know. I apologize for the uh, long wait. Next wait. Next time if it's that long of a wait, I'll um, edit it out. I just am a little lazy. <laughs> Sorry about that. That'll improve by the next one. So don't say, oh, that was a long wait. I got it. Don't have to tell me in the comments. I got it. I know, it's a long wait. I got it. So I just stole the crap load of loot. I have pretty much half of my army up, so just a little less. So I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna get 50% and then surrender to save my army. One thing about farming armies, why would you surrender once you get 50? Once you, I mean, if you get like 200 of each, I mean, let's say the rate rate offers 800 of each, you know, then obviously go for all 800. But if it offers, you know, 250,000. Um, don't, and you get 225, don't go for the last 25,000, just surrender, save your armies, save your army, it's a smart move, so then your army trains faster and you can get loot, so I'm just giving a shout out to my clan, not many people were on when I said, said hi, the, um, Andres MP, he says hi, so, yeah, pretty much sharing the replay because i like sharing replays of my clan hey party people <laughs> good man see you guys in the next video peace out